Hello people, how are you guys doing? What's up? What is up? That's all I want to know. There's that one special place on the internet where all the weird recipes are gathered. It's called... TikTok. I can't believe you didn't see that coming. So yeah, I went on there. I found some stuff. I need to be wearing sunglasses when I'm scrolling on TikTok. Because some of the things that I saw on there kind of burned my eyes. Ah, ouch. <laughs> I cried a little. It helped with the burn. I could have been outside getting a sunburn, but no. I was at home scrolling on TikTok getting an eye burn. Oh, it was amazing. That's the sound of trouble. Toot. Hello? I sent you something. Uh, who is it? It's a recipe book. Oh, hi, recipe book. Oh my god, it's been so long since we last spoke. What is cooking? What is sizzling? You know I'm always thirsty for some tea. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's see. A recipe book for disasters. Ah, uh, I've already read this one. Impressive. I never doubted you. What do you mean? The only person doubting me is me. Uh oh I wish I could tell you that today's recipes are weird, unbelievable, something that you've never seen before, but honestly, they're not, they're just a little different. But I have a plan, whenever you hear me say I have a plan, run. Because my head, it's full of bad ideas like pinata at a birthday party. We've all seen the red pasta, white pasta, green pasta. Eeh, bombastic side eye. But what about pink pasta? Yeah, it's looking suspicious. It's the pasta. <laughs> yeah, it looks fake. This can only be food coloring. Oh, no, no. It's something way worse. Beetroot. Mm. Beet. Root. I just have one question. Why does beetroot exist? Like, it's awful. Beetroot has that lovely flavor of... Dirt. And don't get me wrong, dirt is okay. You know, dirt, dirt is fine. I like seeing nature. I don't like tasting it. You? <laughs> Meanwhile, nature. Ugh, never mind. Why well, being rude to beetroot? Because it tastes awful. How do you guys eat it? I have a very juicy story to tell you. It's from my childhood. Oh my god, this smells horrible. <laughs> this looks disturbing. Don't touch it. it. Looks like a crime scene. It's so red. <sighs> Haunting. You remember I just mentioned that I can be very inventive when it comes to coming up with bad ideas. They're always very harmless. I'm just mad because I'm wasting my time doing dumb things. That's all. But sometimes it's fun, so I don't know why I'm complaining. Anyways, I know where I got that little talent from. Yeah. Yeah, it runs in the family. I got it from my father. Ah, he's such a sweet man, such a sweetheart. But once. He broke the law. The law of interior design. He not only broke it, he demolished it. By law. Well, let me tell you more about it. The bathroom was looking okay. It was fine. It was great, actually. But one day he, he went inside the bathroom and he was like, huh, I'm gonna paint the bathroom. Again, for absolutely no reason. This was so unnecessary. This smells like awful. I don't know why I'm keeping it so close to my face. And that sweet man decided to paint the most sacred place in the whole house in the most cursed color that ever existed. Green. If you're new here, hi. If you like green, we can be friends. But don't try to convince me that it's a nice color. It's not. It's the worst. <laughs> and I'm not talking about some subtle, like soft pastel green color. No, it was the most ugly shade of green. Can you imagine my face when I first walked into that bathroom? It was quite tiny because it was just only the toilet could fit inside. So it was a tiny room. The moment I stepped my foot inside there and I looked around, I was like, that, I think I, I might not be seeing colors correctly. There is something wrong with the bathroom. Who did that? to the poor bathroom. My dad was like me, I did that. This was almost 20 years ago. This was almost 20 years ago. And I still think about it. And I was like, father, look, so many available colors. Like, look at them, look at them looking at you. Why green? Why is it always green? <laughs> that was the only color left in the store. You gotta deal with it. <clears throat> Cool, cool, cool. I think that he was lying to me. I'm not a businesswoman, okay? I don't know how to sell stuff, but there is one thing that I know for sure. That store, it went out of business quite quickly. I don't know. I'm still wondering why that happened. Like, it's kind of wild to me. So unexpected. And hey, listen, I might have been a little dumb back then. A little, cause 
I was little. <laughs> but I'm still living with this thought, with this suspicion that my dad might have lied to me. Father, you got anything to confess, father? Half teaspoon garlic powder. Oh no, my garlic powder. <laughs> my garlic powder is not powder anymore. Yes, who is it? Don't worry, I'm gonna make it work. Wow, that's a lot of garlic powder. Boom, a little bit of salt. Talking about salt, yeah, I'm still salty about that bathroom color my father picked. Cause there is no way, there's no store that has only green paint. Like what kind of story is that? The one that goes out of business quite quickly. <laughs> Anyways, here is where the magic happens now. Enough talking about bathrooms. After all, we're cooking, even though that's the food's last destination. It's still a little gross. Ho, 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 time to wake up my neighbor. Why it's red? Maybe I need to shake it a little. Ah, uh, okay, that's red. I think I'm gonna add a little more yogurt, maybe. Maybe a little more feta as well. I don't know, just trying to make it pink. <clears throat> Look how bright pink it is in the TikTok video and mine is like red. <sighs> All I wanted was Pink. Father, my eyes are still broken. They've never recovered after that bright green bathroom you decided to DIY. Not everything is a DIY project. No? Hold on, let me go get my pasta. I boiled this. See? Not burned. Ta da! Ah, look at that. Mm. Okay, on top of the pasta, the sauce actually looks pink. Not like bright pink as in the TikTok video, but it's still, uh, it reminds of pink. <laughs> I'm not ready, but let's go. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is the most confusing pasta I've ever had. How can it smell bad, look bad, but taste good? I don't get it. Am I just hungry? What is going on? Surprisingly, this is not as bad as I thought. The feta, the yogurt, and the garlic powder are our heroes in this recipe because they're masking that beet flavor perfectly. They're like, we're here for you, Denny. We got you. Woohoo! Thanks. Friends, it's like there's no beetroot in there. It only smells like it. It doesn't taste like it, so that's nice. It's a 10 out of 10 from me. I mean, it's a nine out of 10 because it still smells like something that I don't want to be eating, but it tastes like something that I can't stop eating. Go figure. I really, 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 really like you. But then a gentle thought popped up in my head and I was like, but can we make it sweet? I don't know what you're thinking, Danny, but for the sake of humanity, just stop, stop thinking. <laughs> but everything that we have is because we're curious. You don't get it. We need to stay curious. I'm doing a favor to humanity right now. Wow. Listen, hear me out. I'm gonna say something very important right now. <laughs> Colors have flavors. Yeah, and sounds have scents. Pink suggests that something is sweet. Green, on the other hand, suggests that something is sour. Yeah, I can see that. Typical green. See? Colors have flavors. Told ya. Unbelievable. So can we make pink pasta that is actually sweet? Or is there another way to make pink pasta? <clears throat> so I went on Google the good old Google. And I found this Polish, Polish? And I found this Polish strawberry pasta. Hmm. It's a recipe. Uh, it exists. I think we need to check on Poland. Are you guys okay there? Strawberries with pasta. Sounds terrible. Let's try it. It looks promising, but it's not weird enough. Cause just looking at the ingredients, I can kind of already get an idea how it will taste. There is no surprise. There is no suspense. But then, I went on TikTok <laughs> and that was the biggest mistake I've done today because <laughs> I found this recipe. It's based on that super viral tomato feta pasta that we tried a real long time ago. But this one, they're adding a little twist. They're making it a little cursed. <laughs> I can't tell if this is a joke. I can't tell if they're being serious and if this is a real recipe. But let me tell you, I served this to several people. Everybody loved it. Okay, I'm convinced. Bring me the strawberries. Ah, <gasps> psst, dang it. Yeah, what is it? We don't have any strawberries. What do you mean we don't have strawberries? <laughs> Red alert, everyone. Our strawberries have gone into hiding, leaving our kitchen very disappointed. For the latest updates, stay tuned. 
I don't know what to tell you. Can you like do something about it? What do you want me to do, Danny? Hmm? I don't know. Just find strawberries. Uh, best we can do is frozen, frozen strawberries. Yes, frozen, fro frozen, <laughs> frozen will work. Technically, frozen fruit is more fresh than the fresh one, so um, I can't see how this can be a bad idea. Because if I could see. I wouldn't be doing it. So I am gonna add some olive oil. Very nice. Very, very nice. Woohoo! This is some white balsamic vinegar. Okay. I don't know. A little bit of salt. Oh, that's a lot of salt. Maybe a little more. Okay, very nice, very nice. Some black pepper. Feta in the center. And I am ready to go get arrested. This feels illegal. What are we doing? Okay, I'm gonna go bake them now. If strawberries could talk, they would have screamed right now. Ah! Oh, I forgot the basil. I'm gonna need a little bit of basil. Just a little bit of basil. Listen, this is not that weird, okay? People actually eat fruit with cheese. I think that baking it is what makes it weird. I don't think that I'm gonna like this texture, so I'm just gonna blend it. Uh, someone, please remind me that spoons exist. Because <laughs> I'm doing that with a fork. This would have been so much easier with a spoon. Whoopsie doopsie. I actually think that this pink sauce looks a little better than the previous one. But the big question is, how does it taste? I don't wanna know. <laughs> okay, they look cute. wondered, am I naive? Am I trusting people too much? And this recipe gave me a very clear answer. Yes! I need to stop doing that. Think about strawberry milkshake. Mm, delicious, right? Now make it salty. This is exactly how this tastes. Salty strawberry milkshake. Gross! <gasps> not good. It is not good. I'm gonna give this 0 out of 10. I think this is the first recipe that I've ever tried and I've given 0 out of 10. I don't like it at all. I don't recommend it. And if you for some reason decide to try it out, uh, don't. <laughs> I needed a full day to recover, but I'm okay now. Well, at least I now know how salty strawberry milkshake tastes paired with pasta. Ugh, I can have my Gucci. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. So, so far we have one win, one fail. And this third mystery recipe that we're trying out today is so a little questionable. Oh, they always are. You know what they say, when life gives you lemons, you wear them as a earrings. Woohoo! <laughs> Wrong answer. You make candied lemons, yeah. Well, that's a little different than what I thought. And they look so crunchy. The only thing I want to do is just they look so crunchy, but guys, there is always a but. I think there is a trap that I'm on my way on falling into. And maybe you're wondering, Danny, how do you know? Yeah, show us proof. We want to know what can possibly go wrong. Guys, stop it. She apparently knows something that we don't. Ah, uh, yes, I do. I can smell it. Because when someone in the comments asked, are they crunchy? The creator said, no, they're not crunchy. So what are they? I need to make sure that I cut them as thin as possible. What happened to my voice? But that's impossible because they're breaking. Look at that. What is this? Please don't splash in my eyes. Please don't splash in my eyes. Oh my God, look how thin I cut this one. Look at it. It's so thin, it's almost invisible. Very nice, very nice. Almost perfect. Why don't I need some safety gear? There we go. I see absolutely nothing. <laughs> perfect. Look at that perfect slice of lemon. Oh, everything is fine. Step two is boiling the lemons. Okay, lemons. Time to go in. It's getting a little too crowded over here. Set timer, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. Thank you. 10 very boring minutes later. 
We've lost a soldier. Now I'm mixing half cup of water with one cup of sugar. For this step, I want to make sure that I'm using only the best slices, okay? The ones that look like an old pair of underwear, they're not allowed to get in. Set timer, 25 minutes. 25 minutes, counting down. Thank you. And I was only a few minutes in when this happened. My bubbles are taking a bubble bath. My bubbles are taking a bubble bath. <gasps> I meant my lemons. This is the forbidden bubble bath. Are you okay, lemons? Oh. 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 Okay, but what is this brown stuff? Brown can mean so many different things. Bananas on the kitchen counter turning brown. But it's time for a smoothie, I guess. Food in the oven turning brown. Good. My lemons turning brown. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Let's take them out. So uh, this is how they look. <laughs> you think they might have burnt a little? <laughs> nah. What makes you think that? Uh, for example, this and this and this and this and this. They look nothing like the lemons in the video. Oh my god. They're sticking all over my teeth. And yeah, I definitely burned them. I knew it. I could see it. Mine tastes like uh, lemon and um, burnt caramel. Very unexpected combo. I mean, this one kind of looks like the one in the video. In my defense, they burned so quickly. The video said that I need to be cooking them for... I'm trying to talk. The video said that I need to be cooking them for 20 to 30 minutes and I was barely at 20 minutes when they started burning. I don't think I'm supposed to chew them. The flavor is quite nice. Sweet and sour and burnt. I like it. I'm gonna give it 3 out of 10. It's way too much work for something that is just you can live without candied lemons, okay? You're not missing on anything. They were right. It's not, it's not crunchy. I mean, it cracks sometimes. <laughs> When I'm cooking, I'm either going to undercook the food or burn it. There is no in between. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a person of the extremes. But if there is one recipe you need to try out, I would say <laughs> save your strawberries. Don't waste your lemons. But if you have some beetroots that you don't know how to get rid of, <laughs> the beetroot pasta. At least it's something that you can eat. It's edible. It's eatable. I just said the same thing. If you guys want to see more recipes from my book of disasters, you can check out this video. Or if you're into makeup disasters, you can check out this one i'm also on instagram facebook tiktok please stop coming up with social media platforms okay i can't keep up anymore <laughs> thank you guys so 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 much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye